Hey, welcome to the podcast for the week of March the 15th. Well, when the PUP won the general election on November 11th, 2020, I heard a few people comment that it was like getting back together with an ex-lover, an ex that you had good reason to dump back in the day, and after all these years later, likely hasn't changed. Meet Brent Toombs of Brent's Two Cents, the semi-serious thoughts of a guy in Belize. From his studio in Belize City, Toombs pushes all the hot button news headlines. I started my podcast in July, so I've been doing this for just a little less than a year now. Toombs, a former news cameraman who now has his own production company, is part of a new wave of Belizean podcasting that includes Dominique Norales. She is young, independent thinking, and started her podcast on Anchor FM during the COVID-19 pandemic. Hi everyone, this is Dominique Narales. There has been something that has been on my mind since I found out about it. Um, and I wrote about it in my column, Musings by the Curious Nonconformist. The name of my podcast is Walasaha. It's a Garinago word. So it's not Walasaha, it's a Wala, it's Walasaha. So it Wala, has- Walasaha. Yeah, 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 that that's okay. <laughs> uh, uh, wait, it, wait, what does it mean? It means our search. I just hit record. We're in. We're in the Natasha Stewart podcast. And then there is Natasha Stewart in Apple Podcast. Stewart is based on Ambergris Key in the town of San Pedro. She uses her platform to engage with inspirational stories and inspirational Belizeans. Why podcast? Because um, also like in the pandemic, when everything was kind of becoming really chaotic towards the beginning, um, people were just posting on their Facebook statuses and having these panic reactions. And I became one of them. And I was like, this isn't how I want to contribute to the people around me or in my life or anything. So I was like, I need to like channel my energy somewhere else. And I read a lot of books and I also, I listen to audio books as well, not just like physical books, but I listen to books as well. Um, but I figured from those books, I learned that, you know, uh, you become who you spend most of your time with. So I was like, well, I'm going to go and find people who inspire me. Ranisha S. Gentle and the Gentle Perspective on Anchor FM and YouTube takes a different approach. Gentle is a final year student at University of the West Indies, majoring in political science. I enjoy talking about politics. And, you know, for most people, that isn't, you know, the most ideal topic to discuss, but I find it very informative and intriguing. And especially for us as young people, we need to be within the nitty gritty of this because we're the quote unquote, the future, right? So all my episodes around politics, policy, and other social issues that not only Belize is going through, but also the Caribbean. And I try my, my hardest to tie it in. The community of Belizean podcasters is relatively small, but this allows them to connect more intimately to share tips and advice. And the fact that so many other people are starting to do their own podcasts and they've reached out to me and said, hey, I heard your podcast. I'm thinking about doing something myself. You know, um, can you give me a few tips? And, and, and that's really what I'm hoping that, you know, we will see with podcasting is that this will become something that a lot of Belizeans will get into producing their own podcasts because the more Belizeans who produce podcasts, then more Belizeans will start listening to podcasts. It's not a very large pool of us, but it's a substantial enough pool to know that, okay, Belizeans know what podcasts are and we're creating it. So you have people like Brent's Two Cents who focuses on news. You have tea, two, tea, two teaspoons of Belize who focuses on comedy and yet still focuses on Belizean politics. Like there are different different strokes of different folks, mm -hmm. um, but I think it's growing in the Belizean po um, population. I, I think it's a great space for us to remain connected to each other no matter what borders exist. Podcasting has been in existence since the 1980s. At that time, it was called audio blogging. However, it really began to catch on in 2004 
with the advent of the iPod. Today, there are hundreds of thousands of podcasts out there on numerous platforms covering a wide variety of topics. Paul Schmidt III told us why more Belizeans should engage in locally produced podcasts. It gives a diversity on, on, on diversity of opinion uh, of what's happening. There are different genres, you know, so it could be that somebody wants to start a podcast about cooking. It could be somebody wants to start a podcast simply about anything from going Pokemon hunting. So even young people can get involved and they can definitely form or start a community um, out of that. And some people want to connect. So it's just one different way of connecting. The trend of podcasting is fairly new to Belize, though it is popular everywhere else in the world. But I do believe that if we really want to be well-rounded and be a bit more dynamic, we need to come out of the boundaries that we have here within our communities to say, look, there are other things out there available. And I didn't know there is a podcast for every single genre you can think about. Gospel, hip hop, books everything under this sun and don't forget to subscribe to all the great Belizean podcasts on your favorite app so you never miss an episode from any of us reporting for news 5 i am paul lopez